Hey guys, we're back here, Lilacs International. We were talking the other day, Mark and I were like, you know, we always focus on parts, on guns themselves, but we noticed recently that there are a lot of new players out there. So we decided to come up with a whole new series, Essential Guides for Beginners and How to Get Started in Airsoft. So, the first thing we need to think about is obviously everyone focuses so much. They get so hyper focused on what's the first gun I'm going to get, what scoping I'm going to put on it. You know, all that stuff you do in Call of Duty, that's great. And, you know, we don't discourage that. You know, you got to focus your, your time, your energy and your budget into your gun. It's a major part of it because without it, you can't really go play BB Wars, right? However, we also want to caution because a lot of people, they come into the sport and they're like, hey, I'm a beginner, I got $300, $500, whatever. And then they spend 80% of it on the gun and forget about the essential things that help make the hobby even more enjoyable. Because the last thing you want to do is go to your first game, have a miserable experience, be you know, like, yeah, you know, Airsoft's not for me. But that's what this video here is about. So let's get started with our top five essentials for beginners. Yeah, because guns are fun, but playing dress up is even more fun. All right, so coming in at number five, we're gonna look at headgear or headwear. Simply put, helmets and hats. So there's a couple reasons you wanna have a helmet or a hat other than looking cool. So the first would be to protect your noggin from BB strikes. Even with a hat, it's still a little more protection than nothing. Also, the sun beaming down on you all day long. You want to make sure your head and, you know, everything, your face is all covered up and you don't get sunburned. So while it's number five, it is still quite essential to even look into. So coming up at number four, handwear, or simply put, gloves. So we're, there's so many brands of gloves out there. We always tend to think, overthink it, and oh, what should I use? Motorcycle gloves? Should I use uh, hiking gloves? What should I use? Well, you know, mechanics are always a, a favorite, and we also have things like Condor, Nomex, and all that stuff. But you know, mechanics make great gloves for all kinds of things. But airsoft, especially these guys right here, they have these rubberized knuckles and fingers that really help with you know, deflecting those BBs, because the last thing you want to do is go to your first game without any gloves and just get your nails and your hands lit up and just have an awful day. So, you know, they got everything from these super extra rubbery and plastic knuckles all the way to our thermal guys for when it's cold, because not only are you protecting your hands from the BBs, but from the elements as well. Not only the cold as well, but the uh, sticks, branches, rocks, dirt whatever you don't want to get all scratched up so that you can be a true operator and then you have to also decide the thickness of a glove which mechanics they really have a nice collection of them but anything from these kind of thin shooty gloves so that you don't uh, constrict your trigger finger or anything all the way up to the thick boys thick boys for maximum protection from the elements and the bb's coming at number three is chest rigs and mag holders so what do we mean by this? You know, a lot of people, they are not quite clear with what plate carriers, chest rigs, or some people just call them vest or armor. Yes, they're great for blocking BBs and, you know, stopping the pain. But really what you want is something that's easy to put on and affordable while at the same time giving you options to mount uh, magazine holders or magazine pouches. So we have our own. Uh, compact Molly chest rig here, very minimalistic, affordable and easy to wear, easy to adjust, great for any beginner out there. And then all you have here is our bite mag holders, which is a nice mix of polymer and nylon cording so that you have the best retention to keep these guys from going everywhere, but also super easy to pull out and reload. So your mags aren't going anywhere but into your gun. So keep that in mind. Get a chest rig, plate carrier, any sort of molly type vest so that you can mount your favorite uh, mag pouches and holders to keep your magazine safe. Right, coming in at number two is very important but our foot gear or simply put your shoes. And most of the time, people just kind of look out there and they're like, I'll just go in my Nikes or I'll go in my Adidas or whatever they happen to have. However, I have seen time and time again, I'm sure Mark has too and everyone as well, has always seen people, you know, roll their ankles, step in a hole, 
break a leg, do something horrible, and it just ruins their first experience out there on the Sabagay field or airsoft field, whichever, wherever you're playing. So here at Lilacs, we like to uh, recommend these types of boots that have great ankle support and good traction underneath with the threads. So what you want to make sure is that it will stay on your foot, not shift everywhere. So if you do trip, if you do slide, you aren't going to roll your ankle, break your leg and have a horrible time. So make sure you spend some time in investing in some nice running or jogging, hiking grade boots. Doesn't necessarily have to be military grade, but yeah, you can double dip. If you like hiking, might as well use your hiking boots as well, because they make great boots for airsoft. And last, at number one, and probably the most important, other than your gun, is eye pro and face protection. So of course, you can't just go out to the BB Wars and uh, without any sort of eye protection, unless you want to be blind. So, you know, we got everything from shooting glasses to our nice goggles, and then all the way up to a full face mask with the dye mask. Now they come in a range of budgets. So, you know, some people say, well, the dye mask is too expensive. But to be honest, hey, you're, you're investing in one of the most important pieces of your gear. Not only does it protect your eyes, you need to get a good high quality eye protection so that the things don't fog up when you're trying to aim and get those bad guys. So right after eye pro, you want to really protect the rest of your face using a variety of methods. So with the full face mask, you obviously you have the full package there, yet it's a little bulky. Maybe you have some ventilation issues or maybe it just doesn't fit your face quite right, including the ability to cheek weld your rifle or whatever gun you may be using. <clears throat> so a lot of people, they will combine it with either shooting glasses and goggles with some sort of face mask. And a lot of people these days tend to go for that mesh face, face mask. It's kind of hard and metallic and it rubs up on your face and it's hard to get that nice cheek weld, right? So, you know, here at Lilacs, we've come up with the best selling face mask here, which is the Aeroflex. Flexible, protects you from BBs, very breathable and prevents a lot of fogging. Inside of the mask itself, which is laundry machine washable easy to clean comes a tough silicone piece of basically rubber but silicone piece that has holes in it that doesn't allow bbs to go through but allows for excellent ventilation to prevent any sort of fogging of your glasses so i hope this video helped you understand some of the essential items and gear that you may need aside from your gun and how to make your first or maybe even second airsoft game enjoyable comfortable safe and easy going so hey check out the rest of our series and uh remember likes comment share subscribe let everyone know especially if you have any friends that are going out for the first time and they're so excited that they forget everything they need to make sure you have your remember hat helmet gloves eye pro face pro chest carrier something to carry your magazines as well as good footwear so check us out for more videos. Catch you later.